Welcome to the Purple Mash webinars. In this video, we're going to look at how your pupils can use Busy Beats to experiment with sound and create real music. Busy Beats can either be found here in the Featured panel on the home page or via the Tools section. If I click on the Tools button and scroll down to the bottom, it's found here in the Music and Sound area. Busy Beats allows me to create my own music using ripples and ripplers. When I click on a rippler, it fires a ripple, and when that ripple touches another rippler, that rippler fires its own ripple. The ripples will move back and forth in a loop. I'm now going to drag some sounds in. I can either start with some of the samples or the synth sounds. Let's start with the samples. I'm going to build my beat. Let's start with the drum, a bass drum here. Right, that's a nice steady beat. Let's see if we can put in a snare drum as well. A snare drum usually goes on the off beat. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds like a bit of a soca rhythm. Right, excellent. Let's put in a hi-hat. Where am I going to position my hi-hat? I can change the rhythmic pattern by moving the sounds around or repositioning the ripplers themselves. I don't like that. I'm going to put them back where it was. I'm going to move my hi-hat over here now. Let's put some other sounds in there, perhaps a rise cymbal. If I don't like a sound, I can just drag it off and add something else on. Let's add some... What about some maracas? Oh, sounding good. What about a bit of cowbell? Can never have enough cowbell. If I want to change the sound of one of these samples, I can select it and reverse the sound. That's the sound of my snare reverse. And I can turn the relative volume down of the different items as well. So if I want the cowbell to be a little bit lower in the mix, there we go. Now, if I want it to stop, I can click the shush button. Now, it's been recording as I've created that. And if I stop that recording, I can then play back what I created as I added the sounds in. I've got my basic drum pattern happening now. I now want to add the bass and the synthesizers and some other sounds in there. So I'm going to use these synth sounds. Off we go. And I'm going to use one of these lower notes down here, either the C2, D2, etc. You can scroll up and see higher notes up there. So I'm going to start with my bass note. C2 and I'm going to place that around about my bass drum so it's happening at the same time as my kick drum. I can change the waveform on these as well. You can hear the different synth sounds happening. I like that first one. Let's turn the gain up a little bit and make it a slightly longer note. Right, let's add in some other notes. Let's think about a chord, C, E, and G. Let's try uh, an E, it's a bit higher up. So this is section A of my piece of music, and I can rename that. I might make that verse one. And I'm gonna add a separate section to this, and this is gonna be called the chorus. I've just copied that exactly from verse one to the chorus, it's exactly the same. And I'm gonna make some minor changes to it now so that it's a slightly different beat and it's a slightly different chord sequence that I'm using. Now, if I want to record my entire piece of music, I'm gonna press the record button here. There we go, and I can play that back by pressing the play button. Another thing you can do with Busy Beats is explore chord sequences. I'm going to see if I can create a backing track for the song Stand By Me, which uses the chords G, E minor, C and D. First of all, I've created a G chord, which consists of the notes G, B and D. Let's play that to see how that sounds. Excellent. Let's see if we can create the next chord, which is E minor. I'm going to add a section down at the bottom here using this plus and change this to E minor. Now the notes in the chord E minor start off with an E in the bass. Let's use my piano over here to change that to an E. And then I have a G. And lastly, at the top, a B. So I can leave that B there or I can change it to a slightly higher B. 
Let's add on the next two chords in this song. The chord C consists of a C in the bass and then an E and a G. And lastly, let's add the chord D. And the chord D consists of D, F sharp and A. So there we have my chord sequence for Stand By Me. Now what I need to do is add my drum rhythm. The first thing I'm going to do is click on the universal mode at the bottom here, which will mean that anything I drag onto my piece of music in my first section will copy exactly across to all of the other sections on my piece of music. So I've now added a kick drum and some hand claps onto my piece of music. Let's play that and see how that sounds. Now the last thing I want to do with my piece of music is to have a play with the effects that I can add onto the synths and sample sounds that will change the texture of the music. There are eight different effects that you can explore, such as auto wire, reverb, delay, phaser, distortion. You can also decide how far you want these particular effects to spread in your piece of music and change some of the other options here. Right now, when I'm happy with my sound, I can start my recording and sing over the top of it. Here we go. Won't you stand by me? Oh, stand by me Just as long as you stand Stand by me Another thing you could do with Busy Beats is to create your chord sequence and then set this as a to-do for your class for them to add their own drum sounds over the top. To set this as a to-do, I would use my menu and click the share button and set it as a to-do for my class. So using Busy Beats to create your own real music enables your pupils to explore samples, synth sounds, chord sequences, structure of a song, and creating different rhythmic patterns by positioning the ripplers. You can also explore some of these amazing effects that are often used in real recording studios. Don't forget to watch the videos, which will guide you through all of the different facets of this particular tool and how to use it with your pupils. We hope you enjoy Busy Beats. It's lots of fun.